I don't have aggressive energy towards a woman except in intimacy. And so how I would express my affection oftentimes was aggressive. Like I want to pick her up. Yeah. I don't just kiss her. I pin her up against the wall, put my hand around. I'm not trying to get graphic. Yeah. It's context here. So, I, you know, I'm come up behind her and hug on her, you know, kind of aggressive. But that would make her really, really shut down. I ain't never been so sensitive to rejection because we all get rejected. But this is the first time I felt that. And what safer, what felt safer was to go out and at least have friendships with other girls. Just the conversation felt like receptiveness, like acceptance again. Mm -hmm. um, but those loose boundaries turned into no boundaries. So, you know, if we continued to clash and continue, she continued to pull away or what have you, and I'm not getting no answers or whatever, I'm especially in my prideful state. I'm thinking, man, she got me effed up. So yeah. I'm over here doing the right thing, and she over here um, acting like I ain't nothing. So now there's a party tonight, or there's a girl on campus, and then she got her own dorm room. And that's whenever I started messing around. Which is interesting. Now I realize something. You were trying to be on the straight and narrow and that aggressive personality that you had because she told me, well, she told us on the podcast that she had experienced a rape two weeks before y'all met. Everything that happened that was really painful was really one long repetitive pattern. Right. Me feeling rejected for this, that, and the other. And she handles, you know, becoming okay again a certain way. Um, but I didn't know certain forms of affection that were natural to me just felt scary to her, put her back in a certain space where, you know, certain things that happened. So, yeah. And that I already know what y'all thinking. And no, no, no. I'm not saying that Derek Jackson is a narcissist. But to me, it's, it's it kind of feels like he's still blaming his wife for the toxicity that began in their relationship. And of course, if you knew her, I'm actually a diagnosed narcissist and I'm one of toxic people's traits and behaviors. So that was Derek Jackson telling his side of the story. On the Dear Future Wifey podcast, you can watch it right here. Dear Future Wifey podcast on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. So his wife was on, uh, ex-wife was on that same podcast a couple of months ago, telling her story, just like, "Hey, look, I got cheated on, and I wanted to be like the girls he was cheating on me with. I was never enough, and this is that and the third. So he decided to go on the same podcast and just say, hey, "Here's my side of the story right here. Let me vindicate myself. Let me free myself." from you know what have, what has been going on right here just in that in that little clip right there and it, the message was not received as well as he, i guess he thought it was gonna be received y'all because he's in the shade rooms comment section angry when a woman tells her why but kind of behind her toxic behavior she's sharing her truth when a man tells his why behind his he's avoiding accountability come on now Derek. come on come, Derek. come on come on man come on oh you didn't refer to your ex-wife as toxic her toxic behaviors like you didn't contribute to the toxicity that's what a lot of narcissistic people would do is just hey look i acted this way because she acted this way and let me say my side of the story because it clears my name People see through that nowadays. The host, uh, Lateris, uh, Lateris Whitfield, he said, uh, she said two weeks before y'all met, she had, you know, got, was a victim of, of, of SA. And being a victim of SA, she might have had an aversion to being touched, but he took that aversion as rejection. But he said earlier, I didn't have a problem with, I hadn't had a problem with rejection before. This was different. So you know what I did? I went out and started talking to other girls and ended talking. Led to me, you know, going to the dorm rooms and whatnot. And then that's when I started messing around. So this is before they were married. This is when they first met in college. So he'd been cheating on her for years. Years, apparently. Allegedly. Years. Years of alleged cheating. Somehow, let's rope it back around to her. Let's rope it back around to her and her toxic behavior. Hey, this is why I was toxic because of him. So he's saying, hey, look, I was toxic because of her. She rejected me. What do you, what do you expect me, this big muscly man to do? What do you expect me to do? Sit around and let me and be rejected or go get my vengeance. Because he said there was a pattern of it. She so would reject me. I go out here and get my vengeance. Re patterns. Narcissistic people have these patterns. The greatest predictor of pa future behaviors is past behaviors. If he did it before, more than likely, they're going to do it again. But a lot of people in the comment sections and a lot of people in real life will just say, hey, look, if he started cheating on her before they got together, uh, then she kind of she kind of knew what she was getting herself into. Yeah, a lot of people know what they're getting themselves into. But sometimes people promise to change. People lie. People manipulate. People get people turn your compassion and your empathy against you. I'm not saying that's what he did, but it just you know kind of feels that way because he could have left her alone as well. He knew what, he knew what she was getting herself into as well, but he it didn't stop him. So that's been going on for years, y'all. And again, I'm not saying that he's a narcissist, but it seems there's a whiff, just a whiff of toxicity you like, like like the old cartoons when they had like a little smell trail like a little cloud of smell to scent 
I'm floating to the scent and it smells very toxic right here. This right here is the Instagram that you can find like the more clips from it. Like I said, the full podcast is on YouTube as well. A lot of people had this anger towards uh, Derek because like, you know, he would be out here just telling women what to look for in a man and what to avoid and pretty much telling them to avoid people like maybe people like himself, maybe narcissistic people like himself. Maybe he was sending out a beat. Maybe he's wearing the warning on his chest. Like, watch out for people like me. Look at me. Look at me. Ladies. Some of these fellas out here, they they take reject. They don't take rejection very well. If you reject them, you reject their advances. They'll go out here and cheat on you. And if they do that, find you a better man. Team Jackson out. Again, y'all, if y'all haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, my TikTok, my Instagram. Thank you so much.